Each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics. This can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Riverside Municipal, Romeo Alpha Lima, is a small, primarily general and corporate aviation airport located on the west side of the city of Riverside, California. As with many airports in this part of the country, there are several airports in close proximity to Riverside. Chino Airport is just nine miles west. The larger Ontario International is approximately 10 miles northwest, and March Air Force Base is nine miles to the east. Just three miles to the northeast is the smaller, single-runway Flaybob Airport, and nine miles to the southwest is the Corona Municipal Airport, which is also a smaller airport with a single-runway configuration. Pilots should be aware that both the Flaybob and Corona Municipal Airports are non-towered airports. At times, there may be a constant stream of air traffic between these airports. As a reminder, however, Riverside Municipal Airport is surrounded by a Class Delta airspace with a cutout for the Flaybob traffic pattern. Pilots are reminded that they must be talking to air traffic control prior to entering the Class Delta airspace, even if they are transitioning between any of the surrounding airports. There are several flight schools located on the airport, and they provide the bulk of Riverside's traffic. These schools provide fixed wing and rotorcraft instruction from pre-solo through advanced ratings. In addition, several larger general aviation jets also call the airport home. This mix of pilot experience and aircraft capability make it an interesting and challenging place to fly and work. The runway configuration consists of two intersecting runways, runway 9 or 27 and runway 1634. Pilots, please note that runway 16 and 34 is currently not available for fixed wing operations when the tower is open. It is only available for rotorcraft operations when the tower is open. Parallel full length taxiways adjacent to both runways provide access to all services and parking areas located south of runway 9 or 27 and east of runway 1634. When arriving at Riverside for the first time, there are several issues of which pilots need to be aware. When the field is VFR and runway 9 or 27 is in use, practice approaches are conducted to both runways. This may seem a little unusual, but the tower is well versed in this operation and has procedures in place to make this operation safe and efficient. You may encounter aircraft transiting southwest to northeast through the airport's associated Class Delta airspace. The tower will keep these aircraft at least 500 feet above the traffic pattern altitude and, in addition, ATC takes steps to ensure these aircraft do not conflict with traffic arriving or departing Riverside. Helicopters departing the ramp area are instructed to maneuver south of Taxiway Alpha until they are at or above 500 feet AGL before proceeding northbound at midfield. Tower will also ensure helicopters crossing at midfield will not conflict with aircraft departing or landing on runway 9 -er and 27. On approach to runway 27, pilots will note a considerable terrain elevation change sloping away from the approach end of the runway. This provides a unique sight picture to pilots not familiar with the airport. Additionally, when departing runway 27 full length, the runway has a noticeable hump approximately 1,000 feet from the approach end. This elevation change obscures the visibility of the approach end of runway 9 -er for 27 full length departing aircraft. This also presents a unique sight picture that may come as a surprise to pilots. The large ramp area south of Taxiway Alpha and east of runway 1634 is predominantly a non-movement area, where taxiways begin and end are well marked with appropriate surface markings and signage. Pilots are reminded that once they enter a non-movement area, they must have an ATC clearance before re-entering the movement area.
Hotspot number one is located at the intersection of runway 1634 and taxiway Alpha. As with any runway crossing, pilots must have the appropriate clearance to cross any runway, active or not. Hotspot number two is located on the west side of the airport and encompasses the south half of runway 1634 and the taxiways and taxi lanes on either side. This is a tower non-visibility area. Pilots are reminded that runway 16 and 34 is only for rotorcraft operations and not for fixed wing aircraft when the tower is open. Pilots are required to give precise movement information when operating in this area. One last area to be aware of concerns the connector taxiways on either side of both runways. These connectors provide direct access from the ramp area to the runway. Continuous scanning outside the aircraft for surface markings and above ground signage, along with complete understanding of taxiway clearance, including route, turns, and hold short instructions, will help pilots avoid an inadvertent runway incursion. Anytime you are unsure or in doubt about what you are instructed to do, the best solution is to ask the tower. They are there to help. Being aware of the hotspots and other configuration issues at Riverside will help pilots make better decisions and, along with the air traffic control tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Riverside Municipal Airport. It's always better to know before you go.